This is a demonstration of a molybdenum drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to select the appropriate sample size. You want to select a sample size that matches the equivalency you would like to use. In this example, we are going to use a 25 milliliter sample. Therefore, our equivalency is one drop equals two parts per million. Now that you have selected the sample size, the next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to gather your samples. Fill one vial with distilled, deionized, or molybdenum-free tap water. This will be your blank sample. Use a second vial to gather your sample to be tested. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to use a one milliliter syringe to add half a milliliter of molybdenum buffer to each of the sample vials prepared in the previous step. After the addition of the reagent, swirl the vials to mix. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add 2 milliliters of molybdenum indicator solvent to a third vial. Use another 1 milliliter syringe included in your kit for this step. Then, add three scoops of molybdenum indicating powder to the third vial and swirl to dissolve. The solvent powder mixture will turn a red-orange color. Your results will not be affected by undissolved crystals. Molybdenum indicator solution may be substituted for the solvent powder mixture. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to use a 1 milliliter syringe to transfer half a milliliter of the solvent powder mixture to the two sample vials. After the addition of the reagent, swirl the vials to mix. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. Add the molybdenum titrating solution one drop at a time to the vial containing your sample. Count the number of drops during this step. Remember to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. Swirl the vial after each drop of titrant to make sure the sample is properly mixed. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the vial containing your sample matches the color of the blank sample or until no further color change occurs.